What's up guys? Checking in and first day vlogging this entire week. Uh, happy Saturday. I am in the new car as you can see. And if you have already done so, if you haven't already done so, I already announced it on my Instagram what kind of car I got. So in this video sometime, um, I'm going to kind of give you a tour around my car. Nothing too fancy. I'm not going to do like an edit or anything. Um, you know, just going to show my car and, you know, there's a lot of people already saying that, you know, just negative things about it and, and how like I get this car paid for it and everything. And it's cool, you know, like there's a lot of people who will, who will hate and then I really, really appreciate the people who support me and know that I paid for this car myself um, and everything that comes along with it. With that being said, um, thank you all for the amazing support and I promise you guys I'm gonna keep this car for a long time. Obviously I went back to the the Jag for a reason because this is the car that I just, I just been wanting for a long time and just, you know, missed it and stuff like that. So that being said, I am currently headed to go tan right now because um, we are four weeks out, so I need to kind of get some solid color into my skin. Um, one is better for pictures, and two, it just builds a solid base foundation for me um, the day of my show. So, got my coffee here right meow and after I go tanning I'm gonna meet up Sholly and we're gonna go work out at another gym today so I'll see you all in a bit all right so we just got to fit athletic with my boy Sholly and we're about to hit a push workout and uh, I was sitting in a lot of traffic getting here but about to have a really good workout got my coffee in and uh, got some my water after my training session, we're gonna do some cardio as well. All right, guys, gonna jump straight into a commentary and kind of addressing this workout. Um, and this was at a Fit Athletic Club gym uh, close to Sholly's new apartment. And um, haven't really done barbell bench press like heavy, heavy in a while. So me and Sholly just decided to jump pretty heavy today, to be honest. Uh, he attempted 315 today and hit it. And I attempted 275, and you're going to see it in a later clip that I hit it. Um, and my current status of prep, I haven't really addressed this yet, uh, but you'll, I'll kind of talk about how I'm feeling later on, something that's really, really important to every single competitor, whether you compete or not, you know how I feel. Um, so that being said, I'm relatively keeping my strength, guys. Currently, I'm 150.8 pounds. That has been my lowest weigh-in, but I'm averaging around 151 uh, to the high 150s. So I've maintained a pretty good amount of strength. Here's the 275 clip. And, um, you know, guys, it, it just has to go a lot with, um, this is 205 here. It has a lot to do with how you guys program your strength, how you guys prioritize your training, um, when, especially when you're on a diet. And, you know... I'm not really programming to the point where like every single rep it has to do with like a percentage, RPE and everything like that. But I've learned to be smart. I've learned to not train a failure. I've learned to kind of um, kind of read signals off of my body. You know, like there's days where I feel extremely, extremely weak. And there's days where I feel extremely, extremely awesome, like today's workout in this, in this video. So, you know, that being said, guys, it's one of those things where it's day by day, especially when you get closer and closer to prep, it, it literally goes day by day and we're getting leaner, less body fat. So that's kind of how it is, guys. Um, we're trying to keep it as much as possible, um, as you know, as intense as possible, separating my cardio now for the majority of the training sessions. So that's been pretty, f feeling pretty good for me. Um, but keep up with my Instagram stories and stuff like that because I've been kind of uh, snapping on, a, on it a lot lately. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the commentary. Just a quick little update for you all. Uh, please enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you all for watching. And uh, stay tuned for the rest of the video. I will see you all in the next one. All right, guys. So just finished 45 minutes of cardio. Uh, a little over 600 calories. Each machine is obviously different. So this one read that I burned a little bit over 600 calories. I did 20 minutes on the Stairmaster and 20 five minutes on the treadmill, so 45 minutes total. Uh, that makes it six days in a row that I've done cardio. Planning on ending my week um, tomorrow with a high intensity session, so no training at all. 
uh, just cardio and I choose to do seven days because of my own body um, currently I'm feeling on pace 100% finally and um, my weight this week has gone down a little over almost three pounds I'd say just a little under three pounds um, I feel fantastic right now obviously I'm tired uh, that's a given um, that's gonna happen but I'm feeling driven guys um, to the point where you know when it gets close to the prep you get this feeling in your head where no matter how hard something is you're gonna keep pushing forward because you've gone so far and you've done so much for you just to kind of fall back a little bit and let off on the intensity so if anything we increase the intensity now um, you know there's no too much cardio I'm not gonna lose any muscle mass right now um, it's just to the point where now I'm trying to maintain fullness as much as possible um, just trying to maintain as much strength as possible and not let that get to me my strength is pretty much still intact uh, as you saw in the training video I hit 275 still for one rep at 151 pounds so for me that's still pretty good I hit 300 pounds a little over 10 pounds ago but you know getting close guys I'm getting close and, and uh, me and Charlie had a really good training session today to kind of uh, work out somewhere different and get a different flow a change of scenery which is very very important sometimes um, especially when you're you know always in the same place every single day and you just need to see different faces to kind of bring the intensity so really good training session um, really good cardio session as well Charlie did 45 minutes with me so um, yeah guys gonna gonna drop Charlie home and then gonna head home myself and kind of I don't know if it's focusing uh, but yeah, gonna go home and get some food. Okay, so just change. About to get in this hot ass car. Um, there's, a su su uh, there's a subscriber um, that works at Fit Athletic. His name is Brian, so shout out to you, Brian. Hooked us up with some cake bites. Um, so, gonna drop Charlie off and have a couple of these because I heard these are really good. And uh, I'll see you all at home. All right, guys, stir fry is done. This is my meal. I have two servings of spinach, three. 300 grams of green beans, six ounces of 96 war gram beef, and three servings of egg white. And this is how it looks like. Post-workout meal for volume, guys, volume. This is a little under 15 carb, about 60 something protein, and about 10 fat. What's up, guys? So, right now is currently 7.15 p.m. Obviously, sun is still up. And uh, I finished about 80 to 90 percent of my macros. <sighs> I have a big tub of Jello left, and that is pretty much it for the day. And I, I guess I want to speak to you guys a little bit about like how I'm feeling right now. Um, so yesterday um, was obviously one of the shittiest days I've had. Um, one of the shittiest days that I felt all prep and uh, today definitely sinks into one of those days as well uh, started off the day pretty good and you know just progressively over time obviously I get more and more tired during the day so today I hit a push session with uh, 45 minutes of cardio and just after that cardio guys like I still had a certain like caffeine high so I was you know pretty good then I got home and then and, and things started just coming down and uh, you know I'm just at a point where like I just don't want to go out anymore you know um, I know this sounds kind of boring I know this sounds like kind of dramatic but you know um, I'm currently four weeks out um, as of today 28 days out and it's getting hard guys like it's getting really really hard to um, to balance a lot of things um, now it may just be me but I've never done so many days of cardio in a row so tomorrow would be my seventh day in a row pretty much every single day this week that I've done cardio 40 to 45 minute sessions every single day and if you've ever done that before guys at such a high speed it drains you it just literally physically drains you and um, 
you know, I've been pretty good about splitting up my macros, I mean, not my macros, uh, my cardio with my training, but today, obviously, um, I wanted to get both of them done at the same time. Having said that, um, yeah, guys, it is 7.15 and I'm laying in bed. I just showered and I already feel like sleeping. I know to the point where, like, I know my body, right? Um, I'm getting to the point today where I'm starting to feel really, really fatigued. Uh, my legs start feeling heavy and all that other stuff. But, you know, I think it's just one of those things where a lot of it is mental. Um, but I'm starting to feel the prep much more, um, I think, this week. So this week, my rate of weight loss has been freaking dramatic. I think the most I've dro dropped in one week in a very, very long time. And uh, I think that has a lot to do with it. I'm kind of random rambling on right now, but that's kind of how I feel right now. Like I dropped a little under three pounds and it's definitely taking a toll on me. So I'm really just going to lay in bed today. Like the rest of the day, um, I have Netflix rolling and the rest of the day, I'm just literally just going to lay in bed and chill and just rest because I know that I don't have this on a weekly basis, like daily basis. Like I don't have the chance to do this. So I'm really just relaxing having some me time and just not moving um but yeah guys that's that's how i feel and i i know that you know if you've ever competed before towards the end everyone feels like this and, and if you haven't felt like this before um you're not lean enough <laughs> because you know being this lean it it really does take a lot out of you. Some people say, "Oh, I cut on a lot of a lot of macros. I cut on a lot of macros." But you know, at the end of the day, when you do diet down and you're really, really like low body fat, when you need to drop that extra body fat or that that last bit of body fat, it takes a lot out of your your calories. You have to drop your calories a lot to substantially drop your weight. Because your body's essentially refusing, and that's kind of the only way to go, um, as opposed to just increasing cardio every single time. But you know, um, all the way up from now until um, my show date, I'll be pretty much doing cardio every day to really push out as much weight as possible. Because my goal weight is about one forty-seven to one forty-eight, so. Um, currently 151 right now and uh, which means three to four pounds in about four weeks so peak week doesn't really count that's the last week and so um, yeah I'm sorry if this is a bit boring but this is how I'm kind of feeling right now I kind of wanted to show you guys or, or tell you guys my thoughts and uh, everything going into the process the final weeks and um, last prep I did not do this obviously because I was already 147 to 148 about like six to seven weeks out um this year is a bit different because i don't have to hit a goal weight as opposed to last year in bodybuilding you have to so i thought i'd just kind of update you all how i'm feeling it's been a grinder guys i'm pushing through as much as i can um as hard as i can guys so i hope you all enjoyed um, this video I'm gonna end it here um, and uh, yeah guys that's that's the end of that I had a really really pretty much just really basic day um, just work out and chill to be honest so I'm gonna chill right now I'm gonna end the video thanks for watching guys please give this video a thumbs up as you see my energy is low so I'm doing the best I can um, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Is your head spinning? Is your heart racing? Is the fire